Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. I decided to get on here and show you some airbrush um designs. I haven't did airbrush in a while and I was show I uh, wanted to show you guys um what I used to do airbrush when I did do it back in the day. This is my airbrush paints right here. I have Rockstar Red. I have Silver Anniversary Pearl. Sunny Days, Grass Green, White Diamond Pearl, Ice Cold White, I have Rockstar Black, Deep Purple, Coffee Brown, Pearl Pink, Pumpkin, and Sapphire Blue. I just have my... um display right here that I was practicing on. I had already started practicing just to get a feel of it again because I haven't did it in so while. Also, you will need um, thinner reducer and some airbrush cleaner. Now, I had this for so long, so don't quote me on where I got this stuff from. Maybe check out Amazon, eBay, or something like that. I had this since forever. I have two airbrush guns. This is the one I'm currently using, and I also have this one. Then I have this airbrush holder. When I'm not using it, I just pretty much stick it in there. Also, I have my stencils. Hold on. These are all my different stencils I have. And then the stuff that I have, my stencils that I was working on as you can see my nails so I was already practicing and my air compressor which is loud as ever so I'm gonna have to eventually uh turn the sounds down when I do this when I turn it on so that is what I'm using and I hope you guys can see, and I will show it up like that. So this is one I start working on with the red. So that's what color is in my um, gun is red. You have to clean it out, so I'm just going to stay with the red uh, color. These are some I had did prior before I start recording. So I'm going to show you how loud my air compressor is. That's how loud it is. And let's see. Okay. This is my little um mat I always use. As you can see, it's all, all dirty. And then I have a towel, like a paper cloth underneath here to protect my desk. So I'm just gonna grab any stencil. And just do a little design. So basically what you want to do. Let me make sure I'm in the camera. You want to hold your stencil. With your air machine. Your airbrush gun. A distance. And then spray. Nope. Uh, let me pause it because look how it fell. I just probably have to add some more drops into the gun. A little thinner reducer. A couple drops. Put my top back on. And I always test it out on my mat, which is right here. Okay. So, I'm just going to move to a different nail. Once again, holding my stencil. Airbrush is up in the air. And that is the design I made right there. Let 
Let me get some alcohol. And some wipes on. So I have my alcohol to clean off. Stuff that I'm not using. So let's try another one. Like I said, I haven't did this in so long, you guys. But let's just try this design. My gun up, pressing it. Moving a little bit because you don't want it to be too, too wet. That's the design I did. Could have been a little better. I don't know if you guys can see it. All right, we're just practicing. And it's easy that you can wipe it off and start over. Using alcohol. So let's start again. You can do it on the side if you like. Let's do one for the side. Let's see. Hold in the stencil close down. I don't know if I'm in the frame. really really pretty I like that one I'm gonna pop it off or I won't mess it up then I'll top coat it um let's do a different one on the side let's see and you can have so many different designs with these stencils Really, really pretty, doesn't cute designs. Let me see. You guys can see. So I'm completely, as you can see inside, I need to add some more red. Now, say if I wanted to change my color, I will put the airbrush cleaner in there and just spray all the red and get a uh, cotton swab and rub it with some alcohol and get all the red out and then add another color. But since I'm just practicing and wanted to show you guys, I'm just going to stick to the red. I'm adding one, two, three three drops of red let me do four five and then i'm adding two drops one two three three drops of water just to see will it come out good now like i said this stuff is really really messy you always want to have something underneath and this is let me know that my color i don't know you guys can see I'll just spray it up there you see how the color is coming out right there right there so let's go let me do another side let me take that off another side angle I'm sorry that the camera is 
way off. Go like a dark red, lighter red. You want to keep the stencil, make sure it's in place. So very cute. So yeah, that's what I'm doing on my Sunday. Just sitting up here practicing doing airbrush. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys what what you need. Like I said, you can probably um, let me turn, turn the air compressor off because it's very loud. All this stuff I probably got from Amazon or eBay. Like I said, I had it a long time. And the stencils you can find. All you have to probably punch in is airbrush uh, accessories, airbrush machine, airbrush paint. And, uh, the stencils for so I just want to jump back on here real quick this design I did showing you guys and this is what it with the top coat on so that's the red that I had in there and this is what I did off camera just black because I ended up switching the color and this is with the top coat so I hope you guys like I am still practicing like I said I'm just just doing sitting here practicing so i just want to get on here and show you guys um a quick little design so thanks for watching until next time y'all know what it is i holla peace